Now, how do you figure out whether or not your product is sustaining its pricing? Um, some of you might be thinking, okay, I have to pull out all the brochures and see what the sales are and all that. There's actually a shortcut. The shortcut is you look at your gross margin trend. Why? Well, gross margin tells you how much of what you sell your product for you get to keep as part of your, your, um, your profits, your gross profits initially, operating profits later. How much of your, and then the reverse of that is how much of what you sell do you have to take that revenue and translate it immediately into cost of goods sold and give it to your suppliers. If typically your supply costs aren't going to be changing with the same dynamics of your market costs. So when you're selling your cars, for example, you're selling them into a marketplace against, if you're Toyota, you're selling against Chrysler and, and you're selling against General Motors, you're selling against Hyundai, you're selling worldwide markets, you have all these various things. The pricing that you can get when you're selling cars is determined largely by the dynamics of that marketplace. Globally, different global markets, the dynamics of that marketplace. Your suppliers are operating in a different market. They're selling to all your various competitors, but also other industries and the like. So the dynamics of the supply are not necessarily directly linked to the dynamics of your market. There are some linkages, and we'll talk about that. But by and large, what you can make a first order assumption, if your gross margins are starting to come under pressure, what that means is last month you had a 40% uh, gross margin. And even though you made your revenue numbers, now your gross margins are down to 38, 37%. One of the likely things that you would take away from that is that you are, in fact, having price pressures that would cause the distributors to be lowering their price or offering special promotions in order to maintain or meet their market share targets or their unit sale targets. They're having to give promotions, money back, low financing costs, whatever, that are bringing the pricing down. You're still making your numbers, perhaps, but your margin is under pressure. Okay? What that would tend to signal, if your gross margin is in decline, what that would tend to signal is the potential that your pricing position in the market is not as strong as it had been. In other words, you are in a strategically difficult situation. Perhaps your com the competition in your industry is becoming more, more fierce. That is the rivalry. Perhaps new entrants are entering into the marketplace that you're in. Perhaps the, um, the other uh, substitute are taking away some of your market share. People are traveling more, they're holding on to their cars more, there are substitutes. These are the five forces models. So it gives you a hint that perhaps there is some things in, the, in your business, in the dynamics of Toyota in this case, that don't necessarily show up right away in the narrative. There's some early signals that your, 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 your organization, perhaps it's only your trucks, perhaps it's only your cars, perhaps it's only in Europe, Perhaps it's only in Asia. Perhaps you're seeing these changes in your gross margin pressures and the like only in certain markets or certain product lines or whatever. In those situations, it starts to signal that perhaps the strategic situation is not what you expected. Okay? There is another cause or another possibility, of course, when the gross margin comes under pressure. And that would be that the suppliers are raising their prices. Right? It doesn't necessarily have to be that you are in trouble in the market. It could be that the suppliers are forced to, or for some competitive reason, are raising their prices. You're still have, you still have strong pricing, but your costs are under pressure. So one of the things that you have to, to sort of parse when you're thinking about it is how strong are the suppliers in the five forces model, for example. How strong are they? If you understand how strong the suppliers are, you might get a sense as to whether or not this downward pressure on your gross profit is coming from increased pricing or increased power from your supplier's marketplace. And that might happen. That's what happened to Toyota after the earthquake, for example. Many of their suppliers went offline because, not the earthquake, the tsunami and the nuclear accident. 
um, they went offline because of the, the, the tragedy, and so the suppliers, the supply prices went up and availability went up, and so that caused another issue associated with the Toyota position. So you can already, I hope, see that there's some real opportunities by looking closely at what's happening in the trends in the income statement. Just up, we're already only down now to the, to the gross profit. You can begin to see how the numbers signal potential is, risks in the strategic position. And the strategic position gives you things to look for in the financials to verify or confirm or provide support for your hypothesis about what the situation is like for that company. Okay? In the cost of goods sold, you may have component costs. It may be distribution costs. If, if your supplier prices are going up, that is, you know, there's pressure on your gross margin, but your pricing seems to be good. You seem to be holding your market share. You seem to be solid in terms of your pricing, and you're not doing a lot of discounting and promotion, yet your gross margin is coming down. It could be that the component prices are going up, as happened with Toyota when they had their problems uh, with the tsunami. It could be that the oil prices, gas prices, are going up, and so distribution costs are going up. Or it could be that you, you're getting a lot of returns, as happened also to Toyota with some safety problems, where they had, uh, had uh, callbacks and that sort of thing that could be causing that pressure on gross margin. So it signals that something is going on, but you're not exactly sure what. It could be a strategic position in the market that's weakening your prices, or it could be something that is causing your suppliers to increase and raise their, their uh, level. So the, the initial view of the income statement of whether or not your revenue is growing and how fast it's growing and what the trend is and how well your gross margin is growing or not growing and what the trend is, it's nice to know those numbers, but it's important to also understand what they might be telling you about the business itself. The gross margin that's coming in is really gives you a sense as to how much resource is entering the business at a point in time and over a period of time, which can sustain and support all the other parts of the business that are being invested in, all the parts that are developing future products and services, developing marketing programs, hiring and training new talent. Uh, that is a critical driver. You watch that absolutely closely, the gross margin and the trends of the gross 